Today, we're going to be searching for a sledgehammer to get rid of all these church pews. Currently, Mr. Blister, our hero and beloved character that I made, he's got a pretty nice base, but we're really only using, like, the front of a church, and if anything, this is more dangerous. Like, I don't really want to live in here. The only reason why I am living in there, though, is because these darn church pews I've been trying to find a sledgehammer for. Right now, I don't really have too much ammo. Like, I can only work with a little bit of stuff here, but I'm going to try to take over the Salburn part of Riverside because right now I do not have control of it. We're right next to it and there's a bunch of houses here. The best chance for us to find a sledgehammer nearby is going to be in these houses or the other sheds on town. All right so what I'm going to do is take my car that is in really good condition after the last episode and we're going to go explore down there and just honk the horn throughout all the streets. Once I start all the horn honking it's going to be really easy because we'll just line up all the zombies and then I'll start shooting them and then hopefully it'll pull most of the zombies out of the houses as well or at least get them onto the street because it's way easier to fight them out in the open opposed to when they're inside of a door go down here mr blister don't get bit all right but we have brought plenty of them to our location i think i have enough bullets to take them down i did not bring my melee weapon what is wrong with me i'm autistic i suffer from adhd tourette syndrome and asperger's i'm going bald i haven't had pussy in three years but that doesn't stop me okay and there are a lot of zombies so i need to try to do this well i can get on the other side of this fence probably and do some pretty good work yeah just as they're coming in there bam nice all right i've almost taken out most of them now i'm doing pretty good at least one zombie has a spear lodged in him so i could take that uh now i have to switch to my bad gun this one is horrible but you know it's better than nothing all right come on zombies back into the park all right that's quite a few of them down let me see if any of them have like good ammo it's time to explore these houses and i'm gonna switch to the machete that i found on the ground because melee weapon is way better up close than a gun and starting with nothing Oh my god, vehicle's stuck. Fuck. Ah! What do I fucking do? I push it? I, I can't get it out. I guess I'll just leave that one. I do have another two vehicles, and then other ones located around the map. Ah, oh, new visitors, welcome. How do you like the base? I worked really hard on it. All right, now we're back to the neighborhood. I honk my horn. I got a bunch of zombies coming over right now, so I'll take all of them out and then start looting. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, I'm bitten. Okay, I do have a uh, Zombixer ampule I can take, so this will cure it. I gotta put some fucking bandages on it, but zombies are coming around from all directions. This is not good. All right, there we go. We're bandaged up, but we are pretty injured. Oh, man, that hurt. Like, we are really injured now. Oh, my God, man. This is so brutal. All right, let's uh, cease this operation for now and go the fuck home. That was some bullshit. I missed a swing, so I'm going back home to heal. All right, mainly, I need, like, some painkillers right now because we're in a lot of pain. Right now, even the zombies are faster than me, so... I'm just gonna stick around the base until I'm healed and then go back out. Poor Mr. Blister, you'll be better soon. Seeing as right now we don't really have a refillable source of water, like I have to go get a new water dispenser soon. I'm going to go and build some rain barrel collectors. I mainly need planks right now, so I guess I'll grab an axe and then go at it outside. This is like the worst to deal with. We're just so slow, but we gotta make use of a time, so I guess at least I'll try to do stuff around the base. Alright, I guess I can't split logs injured or something is preventing me from doing it oh, i'm such a fool i searched it up you need a saw that's why i'm going there with like every type of axe that i have just not bringing a saw then i need some garbage bags and then i can get to crafting the rain barrel collectors oh i need a hammer and nails this is so difficult with a broken leg there we go we got a rain barrel collectors at least set up well six of them maybe i'll build a few like wooden crosses to make it like look more nice just put the wooden cross right through the zombie's skull. This one is for the guy in the gray sweater. Boy, I got my first aid up to level one, seeing as I've been taking off a bandage and putting on new ones so much. It has been days of healing. We're a little bit faster and we can do a little sprint juggle. It took way too long to do. We're now like a month and a half into the game, so we really got to pick up the pace. Got to go back to the rich neighborhood, check all the garages, and try to find a sledgehammer. Oh, this car has a key in it. Here, come over here. I don't want you to get blood on my nice new vehicle. Some different instruments in here. That's cool. And a fitness contraption. One out of one. Alright, so, so far we have searched this house, this house, this house, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. We still haven't found 
a sledgehammer. I guess I'm gonna go to the houses down here. Whoa! That was funky, dude. Ah, well, nothing on that block. I guess I'll go and work on checking the one above it. Alright, I've loaded up my inventory. I'm gonna drive back home now. So right now, we're currently in Riverside near the church, right uh, here on the map. But I think our best bet is gonna be to go down the map and actually go over here. It's a small little town, and there's a tool shop right here, a hardware shop. But if that place doesn't have a sledgehammer, then we might just have to go to one of the other places or go into one of the other cities. Alright, the only thing else left that I think I want to do is a uh, detach this from that car and then attach it to this one. Alright, let's get on our way to leaving Riverside. Now we just need to turn and follow this road and it'll take us right to where we need to be. Oh, whoa, the gas is like depleting fast in this vehicle though. Okay, a uh, new plan. I guess I'll go and try to grab one of the other vehicles. Yeah, it's kind of a good thing because I only drove back to the rich neighborhood and uh, we're already on like half a tank. All right, back on the road. We're pretty fast now too, so I can get there way fast. Oh my God, I gotta not do that. Once again, thank you to the person who commented uh, this location for me to go check out. And if you guys do have any other locations that you think I should check out, that'll add more value to my playthrough, let me know in the comments. Because right now we definitely need to get a bunch of cool stuff for the base and mainly dismantling those damn church pews is at the top of my priority. Oh shit. Okay, a blockade. This might actually be good because those, that one vehicle is on. These guys all seem to be having, like, weapons and stuff. Yep, car keys. Oh, uh, one of them did at least. And there's still another one over there. Oh, box of rounds. That's nice. Ooh, a shotgun. Yo, I can do some good work with a shotgun. That's for sure. Cars look like they're in pretty rough condition. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Oh my god, man, I am horrible at driving. Alright, we are almost there. It's gonna be the first turn on the left now on this street. And here we go, we have arrived. Let's go. Oh my god. I crashed into a fence, and it's actually one street over that I need to go to. Okay, EP hardware and tools. Oh, there's a lot over there, okay. I'm definitely gonna have to make good use of this. Oh my, wow, there's a lot. There we go, oh man, let's go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Close fucking call, man. There's no way 30 bullets is enough for all of this. Ah! I'm trying to scout any zombies I can right now, quick. Ooh, Glock 21 pistol. Fuck! Alright, I've got a good horde of them coming up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is no longer just like a few zombies. This is a lot. My guy is really tired as well. Oh, man. I did not think this one through at all. Bro, there's no way I can just crowbar all of them. I have to like try and lose them. Oh my god, man. This is mayhem. This is hell. We're too tired to sprint now. Oh my god. There's so many zombies in every direction. I have to try to hope that one of these houses will be, like, good enough and, like, not have too many zombies there. And also hopefully lose these zombies in, like, the tree lines or something. Oh my god, there's so many following. I might just have to fight. Dude, there's no way I can do that. Oh no. Oh no. This is horrible. This is not good. Ugh, oh, please. Please. No! No! Oh man, this can't be how it ends. No fucking way. I've got to go and try to get in my car. That is like literally my only chance. Getting in my car and getting the fuck out of here. Fuck you, dude. Get away. Oh, there's so many of them. Please just let me get in my car. Let me get in my fucking car. See, occupied. Oh my god, I have shit in there. Alright, uh, get in. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm out. I'm going home. I'm going home. Fuck this. That was almost the end of a series. Oh, man. My heart is literally pumping right now. Like, honestly, it is pumping. That was so much fun. I was honestly getting silent of a commentary. Like, I thought that, that could have been honestly the end of a playthrough. Yeah, that place, like, has a lot of zombies there, so I really need to get better equipped. All right, we're almost home, and we really didn't use that much gas either. A little bit of wear and tear on the vehicle from all the zombies we bumped into. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's a little bit more wear and tear. Ah, uh, yes, my shitty little church base. Oh my god, I missed you so much. Well, I almost had a good chance of not coming back to ever see this base again, so I'm pretty glad to see it. Alright, instead of doing all of that nonsense, I think I'm gonna go download a mod, because there is a mod that lets you make sledgehammers. Make sledgehammers, so we need welder mass, propane torch, six metal sheets, two hammers, and two metal pipes, but I can at least craft one, and that's pretty fair for resources. I guess. How is my guy already bored? Like, we just got home. Alright, finally, after, like, two episodes of trying to figure it out, at least we have a sledgehammer now. Now, let's destroy all of these, get rid of them, and then we'll have a nice open room. Oh, man, this feels so good, finally, <laughs> to get rid of all of these benches. It, it looks like there's, like, a secret like room here. I like, don't believe that's a part of a church. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to destroy the wall and see. Let's see. Oh my god, it is, well, there's <laughs> nothing in it, but I mean, it's an extra room, I guess. And there we go, that's the last one right there, and boom, the whole church is cleared out. I still gotta do upstairs and other part of a church, of course, but at least now I can work on that spot of the church. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of planks together, that way I can set up some nice tables inside of a church. I'm gonna be displaying a bunch of, like, my weapons and other, like, cool stuff that I want you on these. Alright, I've got three tables set up, now I'm gonna go through all of my firearms and sort them out. Alright, there we go, I got all my guns from storage sorted out, as you can see we got, like, quite a few pistols, like, maybe three dozen, as well as two shotguns. Now that's really good, but there's one more thing I really wanna do, and that's go of a police station in the police station we're finally going to be able to get into the locked part of it where all the guns are oh man i am like really excited to do this because we're finally going to get ammo and after this i mean realistically we can go anywhere in game and maybe take it on let's go we're almost in let's see what we get oh yes ammo canisters these will have a lot of them riot gear breastplate that's really good and then there's also in here, yeah, we got a lot of guns to grab. Oh man, actual good loot. All right, let's go bring everything inside now. I'm gonna drop all the ammo canisters or place them. And then I'm gonna put all of our weapon stuff in this box. There's a lot of room, so I'll just put it all in here to see everything that we got. From the police station, we got quite a bit of stuff. I grabbed an extra set of armor just because why not? As well as we got some box of rounds there. We got a Ruger Mini 14, as well as a few attachments and stuff. And then in the main room, we have five ammo canisters, which I haven't seen. Ooh, six boxes of ammo, eight boxes of shotgun ammo, 13 boxes of Winchester rounds, 20 boxes of pistol ammo. That's like probably a thousand and then four mag round boxes we have a lot to go through so i think that's a pretty good way to end off this episode of a project zomboid let's struggle let me know what you guys liked about this episode or let me know for the next episode where you want me to go or maybe if i should return back to where we almost died i'm having a great time with the series so hope you guys are too remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help us grow and with that me and mr blister we'll see you guys next time peace